Hi folks, welcome to Code Sci-Fi. In previous tutorial, we learned how to create a like component that allows users to like or dislike. However, the like component does not belong to any post, so in this tutorial, we will learn how to create a post component that includes the like component and the post's title and content. First, open the post.component.ts file. Currently, it only has the title and its content. We'd like to add a number of likes for each post so let's create an instance variable named post likes. The template of the post already contains the like component, but when users click on the like or dislike button, the post component has no idea of the number of likes it gets. We would like to notify the post component whenever a user has increased or decreased the number of likes of a post and update the post's number of likes. To do that, we need to make a connection between the parent post component and its child component like box. The like box should take the number of likes as an input and display the number of likes instead of keeping the state for its own as it has no business on keeping the number of likes. Let's open the like.component.ts file and add add input to the number of likes variable. Now go to the post.component.html file to add the number of likes as an input. We will provide real post likes into the input. The reason is that, when you query for some posts from the server, each post will have some number of likes, such as 100 likes. In that case, the like box of the post will take the value of the post likes which is 100 likes and display it, instead of zero. This is the first direction from the parent component post to its child component like box. Now we would like to make the reverse direction, when the like or dislike button is clicked, the child component will notify the parent component to update the state, and later we will learn how to send the update back to the server. Right now, whenever you click on the like button, the posts instance variable post likes is not updated at all. Let's demonstrate this. Go to the post template, and add the post likes, to display the real value of it. As you can see, the number of likes in the like box has been increased, but the post likes stays at zero. To notify the parent component, we will use add output decorator before an event emitter call change. This is a special property that contains a method called emit that allows to notify the registered function with the provided object. For instance, here, we would like to notify the parent object the number of likes inside the box component whenever one of the buttons is clicked. Here we will call change.emit with the updated number of likes. This is not done since the parent component still needs to register the handler to handle the notification. To do so, we can bind the property change of the like component to the method of post. Let's create a method called on post likes update that takes in an event, which is the object that the emitter change from the like box notifies with, and of course it is just the number of likes. Given the new number of likes, we can just store it into the instance variable post likes. Now the post has the correct number of likes on its own, and later it can send back to the server update in the database, but that will be in another lecture. As you can see here, whenever you click on the like or dislike button, both number of likes inside the like component and the post component are in sync. This is how to use the decorator at output to bubble up the data from the child component to his parent. That's it for today. I hope the tutorial is helpful. Goodbye.